Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be talking about energy and life, which is the first lesson of topic nine. Firstly, let's be introduced to our learning objectives. We have describe why ATP is useful to cells. Describe what happens during the process of photosynthesis. Firstly, why ATP is useful to cells. ATP is often referred to as the energy currency of the cell due to its critical role in cellular processes. Here is why ATP is essential to cells. It is an air energy carrier. ATP stores and transports chemical energy within cells. When one of its phosphate bonds is broken, ATP releases energy which powers various cellular activities. It is a universal energy source. ATP provides energy for essential cellular processes such as muscle contraction, active transport of molecules across cell membranes, DNA replication, and protein synthesis. Immediate energy source. ATP is readily available within cells and quickly release energy when needed. Cells can efficiently utilize ATP to perform work, allowing them to respond rapidly to changing environmental conditions. Regeneration. ATP can rapidly regenerate from ADP and inorganic phosphate through cellular respiration, ensuring a continuous supply of energy for cellular activities. What happens during the process of photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is a complex biochemical process carried out by green plants, algae, and some bacteria. Here's a simplified overview of what happens during photosynthesis. Firstly, we have light absorption. That chlorophyll, a green pigment found in chloroplasts, absorb light energy from the sun. After that, we have water splitting. Photosyl Photolysis, light energy is used to split water molecules, H2O, into O2, protons, H positive, positive ions, and electrons. Oxygen is released as a byproduct. Electron transport chain. Electrons from water molecules move through an electron transport chain embedded in the thiocloid membrane. Releasing energy that is used to pump protons into the thylakoid space. ATP and NADP production. The energy generated by the electron transport chain is used to produce ATP and NADPH, which are energy carriers that will be used in the subsequent stages of photosynthesis. We are going to be talking about carbon fixation and glucose synthesis during this week and stay with us.